Hello everyone, you are welcome to how to solve this very nice algebra equation. Cube root of x minus 40 plus cube root of negative x plus 3 is equal to negative 1. We need to find all possible values of x. So, let's start. We suppose that this expression is equal to a and this expression is equal to b. Let a is equal to cube root of x minus 40 and b is equal to cube root of negative x plus 3. Now, if you take cube of both sides of this equation, this will become a cubed is equal to x minus 40 and if we take cube of both sides of this equation, this will become b cubed is equal to negative x plus 3. Now, we substitute a and b in this original equation, then this will become a plus b is equal to negative 1. Let us call this equation equation 1 and if we add these two equations, then this will become a cubed plus b cubed is equal to x minus 40 minus x plus 3. So, this uh, negative x will be considered with this positive x and we get the value of uh, a cubed plus uh, b cubed is equal to negative 40 plus 3 will become negative 37. Now, we take cube of both sides of this equation like this a plus b is equal to negative 1 and we take cube of both sides. Now, this a plus b whole cubed is equal to a cubed plus b cubed plus 3 a b times a plus b is equal to negative 1 cubed is negative 1. Now, in this equation, we replace this a cubed plus b cubed with this negative 37 and we replace this a plus b with this negative 1. So, this will become negative 37 plus 3 a b times negative 1 is equal to negative 1. So, we add 37 to both sides of this equation. So, this 37 will be considered with this 37 and this 3 a b times negative 1 will become negative 3 a b is equal to negative 1 plus 37 will become 36 and from here we divide both sides by negative 3. So, this get cancelled and we get the value of a times b is equal to negative 12. Let us call this equation equation 2. And we have the equation 1. We have the equation 1 a plus b is equal to negative 1. Equation 1 is a plus b is equal to negative 1. And we move this a to the right hand side, then this will become b is equal to negative 1 minus a. Now, in this equation, we replace this b with this value of b negative 1 minus a. So, this will become a times negative 1 minus a is equal to negative 12 and a times negative 1 negative a, a times negative a negative a squared we move this negative 12 to the left hand side, this will become plus 12 is equal to 0. From here, we multiply both sides of this equation by negative 1. So, this will become positive a squared plus a minus 12 is equal to 0. Now, this is a quadratic equation and is factorable. We write this a squared a squared and we split this uh, plus a as we split this plus a as 4 times a 
minus 3 times a we write this plus a as a plus uh, 4 times a minus 3 times a minus this 12 is equal to 0 from these two terms uh, we can factor out a and in bracket left uh, a plus 4 from these two terms uh, we can factor out negative 3 and in bracket left uh, a plus 4 is equal to 0 Now, as you can see this expression a plus 4, this expression a plus 4 is a common factor. So, we factor out this a plus 4 and uh, in bracket left uh, this a and this negative 3. In bracket left a minus 3 is equal to 0 and from here is uh, this expression a plus 4 is equal to 0 or this expression a minus 3 is equal to 0. From this equation we get the value of a is equal to negative 4 and from this equation we get the value of a is equal to positive 3. Now to find the values of x we recall that recall that a cubed is equal to x minus 40. Recall that a cubed is equal to x minus 40. This implies that x minus 40 is equal to a cubed. So, when a is equal to negative 4, then this equation will become x minus 40 is equal to negative 4 cubed. Next x minus 40 is equal to negative 4 cubed is negative 64. Now, we add 40 to both sides. So, this get cancelled and we get the value of x is equal to negative 64 plus 40 will become negative 24 and when a is equal to 3 then this equation will become x minus 40 is equal to 3 cubed. Next, x minus 40 is equal to 3 cubed is 27. Now, we add 40 to both sides. So, this get cancelled and we get the value of x is equal to 27 plus 40 will become 67. So, we have uh, two values of x negative 24 and 67. Now, let us uh, verify these values in the original equation. The original equation is uh, cube root of x minus 40 plus uh, cube root of negative x plus 3 is equal to negative 1. So, when x is equal to negative 24, then this equation will become cube root of negative 24 minus 40 plus cube root of negative times negative 24 plus 3 is equal to negative 1. Next, cube root of this is negative 24 minus 40 will become negative 64 plus cube root of this negative times negative will become positive 24 and 24 plus 3 will become 27. Is it equal to negative 1? Now, cube root of uh, negative 64 is negative 4 plus uh, cube root of 27 is uh, 3. Is it equal to negative 1 and uh, negative 4 plus 3 is negative 1 is equal to negative 1. You can see that left hand side is equal to the right hand side. It means uh, this value of x negative 24 is a valid solution. 
Now when x is equal to this uh, 67, then this equation will become cube root of value of x is uh, 67 minus this 40 plus cube root of negative value of x is 67 plus this 3 is it equal to negative 1. Next cube root of this is 67 minus 40 will become 27 plus cube root of this in negative 67 plus 3 will become negative 64 is it equal to negative 1. Now this cube root of 27 is 3 plus this cube root of negative 64 is negative 4 is it equal to negative 1. 3 plus negative 4 is negative 1 is equal to negative 1. You can see that the uh, left hand side is equal to the right hand side. It means uh, this uh, second value of x is 67 is also a valid solution.